Hey guys, this is Brian Collado from Train by Tex. I'm going to explain a function of PicoScope that allows you to use a reference waveform. I'm going to show you how to build a reference waveform, how to uh, upload a reference waveform, and how to manipulate a reference waveform. Um, in this capture, we are scoping a fuel injector on Channel B is injector voltage, and on channel A is injector current. Um, if you aren't familiar with the way a fuel injector is supposed to look specifically on this car, or you know whatever the case may be of the component that you're testing, and you're not familiar with if it is good or bad, one thing you can do is compare to a known good a known good waveform and we're going to do that right now. I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to open up the PicoScope software which I have right here opened and if you uh, go ahead and click open and find a find the waveform that you have saved that you may have gotten from say IETN or your friend or your own uh, library you want to go ahead, go ahead and open up that waveform that you have saved. And this waveform is going to pop up and you're going to see uh, this capture was taken at a much longer time base. There's 500 milliseconds per division on the screen, so there's five total seconds on the screen. You can see that this waveform is uh, very busy. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this fuel injector right here on the fuel injector voltage and you're going to see that you know maybe it doesn't look exactly like my other one I'm not totally sure but that's mainly because I'm not zoomed in on the right spot you know I don't really know you know if I zoom in a little bit better it kind of looks like my other one let me go back to this one does that look the same as that you know I don't really know so what you can do is choose one of these files and go ahead and click on tools click on reference waveforms click on the channel that you want to use as a reference waveform which is going to be A in our case and click duplicate after that's duplicated you're going to go ahead and click export now you're going to label this file you know whatever you want you can do injector ref and go ahead and save that and then click OK. Now you can go ahead and minimize this. Go back to your original waveform here. Click on Tools. Click on Reference Waveforms. Click on Import. And then go ahead and find that file that you had. Injector Reference. Click on Open. And then go ahead and click on that box. And what you can do with this is not only you'll have it on there but if you want to if you want to change the color of that channel that pops up you can go ahead click edit and then choose a different color you know I, I typically try to use colors that aren't used normally in Pico you know like magenta you don't normally see that on the Pico so I want it to stand out so I know for sure that that reference waveform isn't what I'm capturing it's just an overlay go ahead click OK make sure this box right here is checked and then click OK again. Now you can see that I have both of these injectors on the same window and the cool thing about PicoScope is that if you have two different files saved in two different time bases Pico will, Pico will all automatically bring them into the same time scale you can see they're at, they're at different times. You know, this one happened here, this one happened here, but they're still in the same time base. They're both now in two milliseconds per division. And you can see they look pretty close to each other. Yeah, I don't see any major discrepancy between these two. And another step further, what you can do with a reference waveform is 
go ahead and click on that channel that, that you just created and within the scale window here with reference waveforms they added a, a delay function and what this does is it changes the positioning of your reference waveform and you can you can manipulate that and and you know get them to line up I'm gonna go ahead and choose 500 milliseconds just to get a baseline here okay well that didn't work uh, I'm gonna choose a different number you know maybe negative 1.499 seconds okay that moved it the wrong way so let's go 5 10 seconds okay that moved it a little bit too much let's do 5.02 seconds that's closer 5.01 okay, wrong way 4 5 4 5 okay that's pretty close to being within the same the same time, the same exact window, and you can see these two injectors. You know, they're live, they're almost on top of each other, but they're not exactly. But my point is, you can get them almost right on top of each other, and you can compare them right on top of each other, and then see any discrepancy that you may have. You know, is this pintle bump there? Oh well, yeah, they're both there. They both occurred at the same time, the same you know general voltage scale it's you know very easily you you are very easily able to compare them without having to toggle between you know this window and then this window that's in a different time base a different zoom you know etc so it's I, I i find it very helpful when you're trying to compare two different waveforms uh that's all i have today on reference waveforms i appreciate you watching uh, we, as trained by techs, are doing videos, uh, and, and all, all of us are doing multiple vi videos on different topics. I encourage you to check out all of the videos that we have available, and thanks for watching.